presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars. <laughs> and I went ahead and got your gold report <laughs> for a year. And, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Ruth, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, and I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks, and it's the July 4th holiday weekend. You got to love it. Be safe. Get a lot of fireworks and still be safe. <laughs> Don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinions of others. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their belief system, so whatever they think about you is not about you, but it's about them. That's a trippy card, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. Nothing like a July 4th holiday to get the market rocking, man. So, Dow Industrial's up 328, the NASDAQ's up 202, S&P's up 57. Look at that screen, folks. So my main screen, everything is green. There's not one. And then I drop down a little. I'll go through this. But they drop down a little. You get the dollar and the yen. That's the only thing that's red. So uh, gold. Gold contract eight up $8.40. What that did yesterday, that finishes the ABC structure on the way down. Hit the 1900. 1902 is the A to B equals C to D. Bottom line, my take, we're going topside, man. Silver, silver up 16 cents, $22.96 an ounce. Right sweet crude up 82 cents, $70.68 a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10 year note up five ticks, trading 112.09. The 30 year up 27 at 127 flat in King Dollar. King Dollar gave it up on price today. You're down 438, 102,904. The euro is trading at a price point of 109. The yen's at 144 and the British pound's at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, let's go to the futures first because this was just, you know, something that, well, let's, let's let me pull this up here first. So you can see this is just a straight line move higher. Now, let me show you something intraday because if you trade intraday, this is always a little bit tricky when you have the S&Ps, if we get to 9 o'clock this morning, okay? Well, if you're trading the futures, it's not tricky because you could have been in the futures last night. But if you're trading the options that expire every day, it gets a little tricky. The reason being is that we were already sitting at 44.65, okay? So something that you want to look at Okay, if you, if you do trade intraday, it's this. I can tell you what I do. This is what I do. I go over to the DAX. Because if you're trading, what happens is this. You know, the DAX, okay, kind of trades like the S&P and the NDX. And what was happening is that, you know, the DAX bottom line was up pretty good. And what, what I normally do is that you take the percentage that the DAX is up. This is it. And what this is all about, folks, is that... You can get burnt pretty good in markets when the S&P, you know, ha like just like yesterday, S&P was up. Today, if you're just starting the day out and you're going to be in the option market, or, you know, more so the option market, okay? Um, and then, so the S&Ps are already up 20 points, right? It's like, oh, man, I can't stay in the middle, okay? Well, what you do 
You take the percentage that the, that the DAX is up, and then you look and say, oh, okay, hold it, man. The, the DAX out here, you know, bottom line was up 1.1, I think. DAX, 1.26 it ended, okay? So the bottom line is, is that it can give you more confidence that we are going to go higher. You know, so I was looking at it, I says, man, I, I get a feeling this S&P wants 50 points. Now, it's, it got more than that. I'm just giving that as, as a, um, a logical way that you look at markets on a continual basis. And, of course, what you want to do is practice it yourself, okay? I've been doing it forever, meaning looking at that correlation, okay? And the correlation is, is pretty solid, particularly if the markets have already run and you're talking about the holiday weekend and all of the above. That's, that's the bottom line. Q's. We're going to take a look at the Q's, the NDX 100. We get with the Q's. Q's haven't hit it yet, but the bottom line, now what? The Q's have got an acceleration of volume happening here. You know, yesterday we did 46 million. You're at 45 million right now. There's going to, throw, there's going to be some volume coming into this at the close. Because what you have, you got to remember what you have. You have the end of the month. You have the end of the quarter. You have window dressing, and you have July 4th. So, bottom line, you can expect more volume in there, and I expect that they'll run it right into the close. Gold. Gold contract yesterday. Let's, let's pull this up. Gold contract yesterday got down to 1,900. You came into the strength, coming off the bottom, rejected it. You got, you know, 169,000 contracts out here today. This is saying now gold's going to move. The first move, I suspect, is going to be to 1,949. Right now, you're at 1,925. It's gonna have to, it's gonna need some, you know, real juice to get through that area because what we had done is that we traded for, you know, basically almost three weeks at that area. You go to the GDX and you, what you're gonna see, they're buying, that's, that's the bottom line. I suspect what you're gonna see is that the GDX right now, that came into the, the, the strength, dramatically lighter volume. Now we got light volume here, but the GDX is even saying that right now this thing wants to run to the $30.80 and right now you're at 3001 and that's the same thing it's going to have some flack coming in at that area but i expect that this thing's going to move and then uh, notes and bonds that note and bond you know this basically huge trading range what we did out here with the note and bond market to get down to its strength it rejected lower price out here today it you know it's been a one-way move down we just moved on the 10 year from the you know, the 117.25 to 111, but you can see on the other side, that's how we moved off. So bottom line, you get a rejection, you get lower price. You know, if the, the note and bond market, the 10-year will have a lot of flack at 112.29, but I expect we're going to get through it. And why? Because this dollar wants lower price, man. We take a look at the dollar, and what I expect you're going to see, the dollar got up to a price point today of 103.543, gave it up. First leg down is 101.921, and then we'll see if we get an ABC down. It's going to be interesting, so because the, the low that it's going to go after is the 100.788. Stay right there, folks. Coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrial is up 333. Nasdaq's up 212. S&P's up 59. We're coming right back. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is trading up by 332. You get the NASDAQ up 212. S&Ps are up 60 inside the NDX 100. The strength inside the NDX. Let's see, we got, uh, what's that one? Oh, Enphase Energy. Enphase Energy is up 5.5%. Sirius Satellite is up 46 You got Align Technologies up 4 NVIDIA is up 4 Taken away from it. Micron's down 1.7%. You got Autodesk off 5 tenths of 1% and Workday is off 3 tenths of 1%. We go into the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. There we go. And we have three stocks in the Dow that's in the, in the negative here. We have uh, Nike minus uh, 20 points. Uh, in the positive here, you got Microsoft uh, plus 37. United Health uh, 26, Big Mac 26, Visa 26. And so if we just look at this Dow for a second, let me see this. Where are we? Yeah, that's going right after the highs too. Interesting. Let's go to Bill in Boca Raton. Hey, Bill, what's going on, brother? Tom, I'll tell you what, FCX is an amusing charting kind of company. If you put it on anything like a three-month or longer, it looks like somebody took a shotgun and blew holes in um, openings everywhere. But um, if you go back to a five-day, um, it looks like it just might want to pop, but what's the reason, um, above 40 and close that gap and, and go a little farther. I don't know. So yeah. let's take a look at it. You got you have Freeport Mac Moran, folks, okay? Uh, the low is $24, the high is $46. Next time they come out with numbers is on the 20th of July. They take in $23 billion a year, and they're going to bring $0.45 cents to the bottom line. Now, this equity, folks, okay, you know, bottom line, uh, well, let's go to look at the copper contract. So it's one of the largest copper producers in the world as well as one of the gold largest gold producers in the world so uh it, 
out here today, copper bill, you can see what happened is that you have, you have six and a half pennies, okay? That's a good start, okay, to basically get to higher price. Gold looks like that, you know, to me, that the bottom is in. So if you do go over to FCX, this looks to me like it does gonna, you know, it could be an ABC structure up, meaning taking out that uh, 4075, and let me just put it on a weekly for a second, because once this stock starts, this, this trending, this stock loves to trend, man. And, you know, the, yeah, I, I think this thing, you know, I think it's gonna get 43 in it, right, like right now. You know, so the first place that you can watch it real closely is the number that you were talking about, the 4075, right? And if you get volume right. on the weekly of 62 million, then you get an ABC up. And that would be, yeah, it's a 7.8 it's a to B. And if we did that, let's just see. It's a tricky one. That's that's 43 or something. Yeah, that's saying the bottom of the highs out here is 42. The top of it is uh, 46. I think you get action here, man. You know, it looks to me that. Um, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just thinking. So ignore the gaps because it's just a stock that gaps all over the place as a. Yeah, part those of those. This is what happens here. Okay. This is a American equity, okay? But the bottom line is that because the it's predicated on commodities, right? And specifically right. the you know, you don't see this in the other equities that even though they are in commodities, this one here though because let me see if I can show you the breakdown. Cuz the breakdown is so dramatic. Yeah, see this so the breakdown is so dramatic, right? You see this right here, you get um, the Indonesia mining. I happen to know what that one is. That's all gold, okay? So that's 9.4 billion in gold, right? The North American copper mines are 6.6 .6 billion. So what has been happening is that the commodity markets, meaning the gold and copper market, is open almost 24 hours a day, right? So that's where you see those gaps up and down. That's what that's what's happening because their their whole business is predicated. You know what I'm saying on that basically. Sure. Yeah. So mm -hmm. instead of a, you know sometimes you get currency gaps, but this is definitely just a commodity gap in general because the bulk of it. Well, that's 15 billion dollars just those two mines. Okay. So that's what you're looking at. H have you owned so, FCX before? Oh yeah. Nice. Um, off oh, and on. Nice. Um, no. So and I and I. You know, I. But uh, this area, I just was sitting there thinking. You know, you've got to just get through this forty. Um, yes, you do. Forty, forty-seven. Right. Forty seventy-five. Right. And um, you know, with my luck, um, I'll be sitting on on the sidelines, and over the weekend, bam, you know, and then you woke, wake up Monday morning, and you've lost the, you've lost part of the bigger move. Yeah, so buy it now. That it might have. Buy it now. And the reason I'm buy saying that, so watch, because th this is this is where this gets interesting, folks, okay? So I understand exactly what you're saying, okay? And the reason I'm saying now is that HG, watch this. When we go, if we go over to the copper contract again, you're going to see that they're both, the the two main products are almost still at lows. You see what I'm saying? So... Mm -hmm. You don't have that, to me, you don't have that much downside risk here. Because the, of both the copper contract and the gold contract are at lows. You see what I'm saying? That, you know, and if they continue higher, you will see this thing gap on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know, and yeah. if it goes back to, if it goes back to the lows, you're not going to see it go down that far. You know, because you can see the last time. Yeah, it went down to, you know, the 37.85, but that's not bad when you, you, you know, basically you're looking for this thing to go to, you know, 46. And I think that's what you'll get, actually. So. Well, and the one other thing that I noticed was the accumulation distribution is trending up nicely. Nice. Um, so, you know, with that in mind, somebody's thinking it's going to move. Yeah. And then if we take, yeah, I'm going to pull this up right now. So let's see, March, 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 March. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of buys in March. Yeah, look at this. This is all the bigger dogs. Yeah, see this right at the right at the very top. March, March. There's buyers, mm -hmm. man. Look at this. 
that all those, uh, and, uh, this is, that, so that's at the end of the quarters. There was a lot of buyers in this. Let me put this now, let me see the sellers. Yeah, you get some sellers. You get some sellers. Who's that? Capital Group. That's American Funds out in California. They were, they were, they, they, American, so picture this. American Funds was a big seller. That's 24 million. That was the last quarter, which probably doesn't make up for all the buyers. But it's nice when you have it spread out that far. That, that's a lot of buyers in one quarter. And most of the time, right. what happens, Bill, they're not going to just buy in one quarter when they're bringing positions on. Right. Have, have a great fourth, well, man. Thank you. Okay, have you a great too. one. Have a safe one. Stay, stay right there, folks. Bye. Come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den and Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is right now at 330. The Nasdaq's up 212. S&Ps are up 59. Let's go uh, take a look at uh, SAND which is uh, Sandstorm uh, Gold. Okay, so this is, let me make sure it's the same one. I believe it's a royalty stock. Yeah, Sand, Sandstorm um, Gold purchase agreements with companies that have advanced stage developments. This is, a, this is a streamer, that's what it is. So the low is $4.50, the high is $6.71. They take in $178 million a year and they're going to, bring uh, nine cents to the bottom line. They do business, they get 30 million out of Brazil, 
uh, Yamana. They bought out, they got a stream out of them with 27 million. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I certainly don't like that that volume high low there, man. Hold on one second. Yeah. I guess that'd be a blowout. And what's the real question here? Hold on one second. Double bottom at four fifty one. So that's four fifty four. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, you get, you're still going to have to be careful on this one. The reason I cannot stand when I have a high volume low like this that's just laying there. And I don't know what made the stock go from 551 to 454 like in a day, but bottom line, it did. Now, you're inside the range again, which says that, okay, if you're inside the range, you're going to go back up the other side at uh, 631. But... I'd be really careful around, no, the next time they come out with earnings is on the 11th of August. And, yeah, I mean, that's the way you got to look at it. Uh, the GDX, is a question on the GDX that got light volume? And yeah, it does. Okay, but it already rejected lower price. Not that that means a lot, okay? Meaning light volume today. But that's how you, you see things come off the lows. That's, that's what does happen, okay? You can see, see this right here. Actually, let me show you this. When we tested the last lows, what you're going to see, I'm going, going all the way back now to February. You can see what you had is that it was 20 million and did 20 million. And, you know, the first day we came off with 35, then it started getting some real good volume. Now, with this particular case, the GDX, you went into 56 million and you only had 17. Now, when you just when you look at the GDX right now, bottom line, it's broken its downtrend. The GDX wants to go to 32.23, and I suspect you're going to get that in a heartbeat. And what else is happening? What else is happening? Well, you know what else is happening, folks? When's the last time that I got a gold call? <laughs> How's that, huh? Yeah. And you, can't, you can picture why people are fed up. That's, we know how this goes. That's one of the best indicators we got. And that's been going back 22 years, folks, okay? That's how it goes. And you can't blame it. I mean, because the bottom line is that, you know, you can, the closest thing to a gold call was when we just got FCX. But if you, if you take a look at some of these equities, if we go to Barrick first, we take a look at Barrick. This is one of the first ones that, you know, basically bottomed out and I want to thank all you tigers and tigresses for calling because we bought this I bought that that day at the, the next day we bought it in the gold report I bought it in the market insights man because the bottom line this was a nice setup man you know got down to the uh, 1560 you know you're, you're going into volume out here of uh, 37 million you did 11 you did 13 now what's happening is that you're taking out a swing it's going to be on lighter volume but this thing to me is going to be Getting up until the 1750, 18, we'll see what kind of flack we get at that particular point. Now, what happened simultaneously, folks, is that let's go look. Is that when I was doing the gold report last weekend, it it was I mean it was so many gold and silver equities that had gone into that strength, rejected lower price, did all of the above. You can see a Nico Eagle, same deal. Nico is at 4995. That's on its way up to 51 out here. We go to. Um, well, let's go to the XAU and the HUI, because that gives you all of them put together. You go to the XAU, and what you're going to see here, now watch this. This is going to be cool, because we're going to be able to get the volume from yesterday, too. Okay, so you're going to see you rejected. Whoops. What was that one? You rejected lower price. We had volume of, we were going into 45 million, and we did 17. This thing's going higher, man. Gold Bugs Index is going to set up the same way, but let's get some harmony going in this marketplace. Pull this baby up, and you're going to see how this shakes out. Same setup. 
you're going into 36 million and you did 11. There's no more sellers. And now what's happening is that you'll get the buyers coming in. So we'll see what kind of action we get. Uh, don't forget, folks, there's a couple different things that we have uh, happening here. The biggest one right now, the 4th of July, is our Tiger Dollar Sale. So we do this twice a year. If you have any product at TFNN right now, you're looking for any product in the future, this is the way that you can save money. And the way the Tiger Dollar Sale works is this. You can buy $500 in Tiger Dollars and you get $600. That's a $100 bonus or 20%. You can buy $1,000 and you get $1,300. And that's a 30% bonus. And the max is $1,500, which gives you $2,100, which is a 40% bonus. If you have any product at TFNN right now, you're looking for any in the future, this is the way that you can save money, folks. We do it a couple times of the year. If you haven't test driven yet the gold report, come over here and test drive it. You know, if you're at Lowe's and I'm writing the, the assessment, you're you know, going to have a good little run here, man. So there's bread to be made and inside the gold market and the silver market when you do catch... Close to the lows, uh, it's, <laughs> it's pretty cool, folks, if you haven't been in one of these uh, runs. Because the run is, uh, they, they, let's put it this way, they, they trend very nicely once they basically get going. That's the bottom line. Um, we go take a look at the, uh, well, we got to still get Apple, right? Because that's the news everywhere. $3 trillion. And in Apple's case, you know, you can, you can see that, it, right now, every shot is closing. If, look at this, this. It's 52 billion shares. I mean, million shares out here today. It's taken a high out that had 46 million, and you're going to see more of that because uh, bottom line. Let's see how many with how many positions this shot. Yeah, there's hardly any shots though. They, but when I say there's hardly any shots, it's still actually a lot because of the fact that there's so many shares outstanding. There's still 15. Um, Billion, yeah, 15 billion. <laughs> um, no, 100, yeah, 15 million. Yeah, 15 million. There's 15 million shares shot. So that's, you know, you're talking about, uh, they'll, get, they'll get more of those people out of the market. Let's put it this way. When it, when it gets up there, it's push, 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 particularly, as I said, end of the month, end of the quarter, window dressing July 4th. Light the fireworks. Fire them up. Stay right there, folks. Dow is up 333. Nasdaq's up 214. S&P's up 60. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow is up uh, 320, Nasdaq up 213, S&Ps are up uh, 59. So uh, what's next? Okay, uh, SLV. Uh, this is the silver ETF, folks. Uh, we got a couple of tigers want to take a look at that. Same setup on the silver. Well, actually, let me bring the contract up first. SIA active contract. Okay, so your active contract. We're trading $22.98. Came into its strength, had light volume. This still has to get back inside 2302. You think of how he hit 2305 today? Okay, do the SLV. We take a look at the SLV. And the SLV, yeah, that came, that was coming into 25 million. First time it came in. With 17, next time, I love these. Yeah, look at this. This, this, is, this is where patience pays off like beyond belief. You gotta look at this thing, man. Okay, so here's what it come into. You came into 25. No, 25 million that is, right? First time you came in with 17, next time 13. That is so sweet when that happens, okay? Now, the bottom line is that you want it back inside the 2086, we're at 2091. That says higher prices. Here we come, man. That's how that works out. Nike. We take a look at Nike. Nike came out with numbers last night. It was trading down about three bucks. The lows, 82. The highs, 131. They came in at 12.8 billion at 66 cents to the bottom line. So we take a look at Nike. Coming into, what, seven... Yeah, it's about the same thing. That, this will stay in a consolidation. You come in into the strength, you know, from a couple of weeks ago, it's 17 million, and what you did out here is 16 million. You know, it, now, now, positive with Nike is that it hasn't been able to get to lower price. That's, that's the reality. I mean, you know, lower, lower price, the highs, that it would have rejected? Yeah, it might have. 110.29? Yeah, that's what it did. Yeah, watch this. This is, pre this is pretty cool. It rejected the highs of the lows of last week. That's what it did. You know, like you'd like to really see a real rejection though. Let me pull this back further. Yeah, this wants this this still wants higher price. It probably has to consolidate for a bit before it gets into higher price, but that's still saying it wants higher price. We go to the oil contract, we take a look at the oil contract out here. Oil contracts trading seventy fifty nine. You get 278,000 contracts. That's probably going to go after the, you know, it's the 72 area. If we go to the XLE, that's going to the top of the range. The XLE, the top of the range is at 82. And then if we go to the financials, the XLF, I believe this is the first time XLF.
Yeah, this is the first time that uh, it's taken out this consolidation, the XLF. So the further you get away from the 33, 53, so you don't have this big bar yet. You need, you need, you need a big bar to get away from it. But if it gets away from it, then you're going to see some real action. Uh, J.P. Morgan, let's see what happens with J.P. Morgan. This is ready to rock, I guess. Let's see. If we put this on. One forty four thirty five. It's over it. Forty nine million. Thirty eight million. Let me put this further. Well, you know, J.P. Morgan's digging into the, you know, the, the downdraft bar in a monster way, man. If you're, you're just six bucks into this bar, the lower that bar, we went from 169 to 139 a month, uh, was coming off the highs. Now, you're digging into that bar, and once you dig in, you know, that far, it's like, okay, J.P. JP Morgan get higher, man. That's, that's how this is setting up right now, so... It's going to be an intriguing summer, man. I'm telling you. This is like, uh, you know, what does happen is that you have, oh, here, let's look at this. Because I wanted to show you something here. Watch this. You know, Tim Ward was talking about the arms and the trend. This is, this is why this market keeps wanting to go higher. You see this right here? So look at this for a second. This is crazy. I'll do this intraday. So even with the market, moving like we're moving higher the low of the arms today was 69 now that's low that that's for sure okay but you can see we're at 94 right now so 90 when you are reaching highs folks okay what ends up happening is that you're going to see these numbers dramatically lower yeah, well actually you get we got a couple low ones here this week <laughs> you see that last week that's why this is basically trending last week we had a 1615, 1.2, 1.6. This week, 0 0.89, 0 0.64, 1.23 Wednesday, 0 0.61, and we'll see where it closes today. But most of the time when you're going to see highs, you're going to see 0 0.6, 0 0.7 for basically about a week. And then you get a high in. And if we go over to the tick, and you're not going to, the, we had a plus tick, but this plus tick was on the open today that uh, plus 1695 that's a big plus tick man there's no doubt about that but i believe and the difference of having it on the open yeah they don't count it on the open and so other than that we had uh 1132 you know so bottom line is that we'll see how this basically basically sets up but i think the nasdaq composite i mean the nasdaq yeah, let's look at the composite so the composite, yeah, still wants the high. The composite is uh, 864, and we've hit 816 so far. So, hey, it might be the half day Monday. You know, what's going to happen is they're going to be able to move this market anywhere they want to move it. Uh, platinum, that's what we want. Uh, PPLT, here we go. Let's go take a look at the, actually, I'm going to look at the, the future first. Okay, so platinum is up 670. Hmm. PPLT. Not much volume in the platinum market, that's for sure. Well, I got to bring this back further. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I see what it's going after. Okay. Yeah, this looks good. This looks good. You want it 84.25. So 84.25 would be better. But you can see what has happened is that you are going into 1.2 million on the weekly, and we did 526,000. So if it could get back inside that range, that range is 84.25. And we hit 84, oh, it's interesting, we hit 84.29 today, but it didn't hold. Stay right there, folks, we're coming right back. Gonna kick off the end of the half a year, man. Dow, Dow's up 322, Nasdaq's up 208, S&P's up 58. We'll come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up uh, 318, NASDAQ up 207, S&Ps are up uh, 58. And if we go, you're going you're gonna to be closing at highs, folks. And it looks to me... Like the, the SPY is going to close right at its high. And they'll throw some volume into this. So the last, you're not going to, uh, you're not, no, not going to get 110 million, though. But this is a lesson in the aspect of high volume highs, man. Uh, there's no two ways about that. You get a high volume high, guess what? You give it up for price, and you only give it up for a small amount. Listen, folks, have a great holiday. Have a safe holiday. I'm going to leave you with our man, Mr. Ray Charles with uh, one of the one of the great greatest songs out there have a great one folks have a safe one Our heroes proved in liberating strife who more than self